We don't Perfect. know where we're going. Nope. Just looking cool. Just looking cool. I walked into a wall. <laughs> This is the perfect behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> the Legacy Leaders Youth Program uh, is a program that's geared mostly towards local families. Uh, but anyone who comes even from out of state can participate in this as well. Uh, it is a program where you get a lanyard that says Legacy Leaders on it. And within that, you can earn up to six different pins. Four of those pins are earned from games. Two of those games are played here in the Visitor Center, and two games are played in our Casemate Museum. The other two pins come from our special events. One of those uh, events is Rampart Readers, which is a monthly program which starts in July and is the first Saturday of every month. And the last pin comes from attending any of our other special events. Uh, so if you show up on that day and you let us know that you participated in whatever event was there, you earn that pin as well. Tavian worked with myself and with my manager uh, and throughout his year here, he helped us develop the Legacy Leaders program. And within that specifically, he developed two games that can be played in the Visitor Center, as well as the Casemate Museum. Well, I've created two games. One of them is like, you find the things that are in the picture. The picture kind of gives you a little hint, and then you like go and find them by solving, you know, it's a question that it's asking you. It's like a fill in the blank. And once you fill in the blank, the first letter of each of those words will form together to make a word, and you have to have that word to finish the game. The other game is for the casemates, and that game is like you, it's more opinion-based, the questions, and it will give you a little blurb about, you know, information, and then it will like ask you a question like, what would you build your fort out of? I wanted them to feel a sort of understanding by the end of the game. I don't want them to just be like skimming over it, just looking for one word. I want them to like look and pay attention, help people learn and have them enjoy learning. Actually, on one of our things, it was about the emancipation oak. The word was oak, but most people thought tree because they didn't think to go around and look for it. So that just shows if you don't, I have to make it so you can't just, you know, try to cheat around going around and looking for it while learning. I've really been into game creation for a lot of my life. I've been like kind of good at coding for a while. I could kind of just understand it. It kind of made sense to me. So I was making my own games at like seven. These were really simple games, but I found them fun. I thought the idea of being able to make what I love so much games was very cool. On Memorial Day, uh, weekend, we launched the Legacy Leaders Program and we were able to sit out in the Visitor Center and together we were able to explain the games and the program to any of our guests and it was really fun being able to work with him, explain the games, hand out pins. It was an overall really good experience. We have had uh, a high volume of people come and uh, play the games and participate in Legacy Leaders. Uh, within the first month, we've given out at least over 50 copies. Uh, of the program, so it's been excellent. A lot of people have come, a lot of people have enjoyed it. I think it's like really cool that, you know, my games were able to like be like this because this has really been my dream, you know, to have a bunch of friends at a workplace and then have something that I did at work blow up and, you know, be the thing. So I'm happy that I could do that.
and really help the Legacy Leaders program. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, he was super enthusiastic, very uh, engaged, very much wanted to learn and develop these games. Uh, so overall, it was a very, very excellent experience. I could tell he was super excited about being here and that made it really fun. Being able to work with people like you guys, really, feels great to be able to work with other people who are interested in the same sort of things that I am, you know, because I like history. I'm not, you know, all into history. I'm not all into games. I could probably make a history-based game. It's just cool to be with people who, you know, understand you and being able to call it a job. Uh, we definitely hope that this program continues to grow and we continue to have a higher volume of people come and uh, participate in the program. Uh, and we're hoping to, in the future, uh, grow the program itself, uh, including new pins for new events, uh, maybe adding in a couple more games, uh, just depending on the feedback that we get from the public. Thank you for joining Tavian and I this week on Discover Fort in a row. Tavian, what was your favorite part today about being on camera? Um, I'd probably gonna be thanks. That, that means y'all have to share this video, because that's how he's gonna get fame. Make me famous. Yeah, make him famous. Share this video everywhere you can, and make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you can join me for our next video.